What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and I hope you're ready for some double barrel action because today is all about the Vanguard double barrel and the infamous 725. But not just any ordinary double barrels here, oh no, it's time to cover the sniper counterparts to these guns, which means checking out the slug versions of these two guns. I'm gonna go over the 725 first, go over some stats, and then talk about the Vanguard double barrel with slugs, which we haven't really talked about on the channel yet, and now it's finally time. Then we're gonna go into what I think is the better of the two. If you wanna skip to a certain part of the video, make sure to check out the timestamps in the description below. So without further ado and without more babbling, let's just get right into it with the 725. Uh, Ah yes, the seven and a quarter. Warzone's most underappreciated shotgun, and although I will say it did get some reputation with streamers for its slug build, why did it? Well, that's because the 725 with slugs is one of the few shotguns in Warzone that can one-tap kill an enemy. The 725 has two damage ranges, but the difference in damage is so minimal, they make pretty much no difference in-game, so it's basically going to be covered as one range. The 725 can one-tap headshots out to pretty much an infinite distance. At no distance could I find a point where it would not one tap headshot and it's glorious it's the most satisfying thing when you hit someone's head and they just go straight down or just die and they thought you were sniping them but nope it's a double barrel thankfully it's got some degree of forgiveness because if you hit the chest you can still two tap with two chest shots and if you hit one chest and one stomach shot you can still two tap but it has to be two chest shots or one chest shot because two stomach shots isn't going to cut it it is unforgiving to a degree, but the damage is there, and this is easily one of the strongest slug shotguns that we've had in Warzone. Sadly, there are some flaws to it, as you know, and you know where I'm going with this if you watched my videos. First off, since it's a Modern Warfare shotgun, it's got a very slow muzzle velocity. It's going to take some getting used to, but you need to lead your targets more with this than any of the Vanguard slug shotguns, or any other gun, really. Slugs are notoriously bad with this, but they make up for it with the power they have, the tremendous stopping power, right? Also, we do have aim down sights bloom or aim down sights spread that can affect where the slug will go, and generally it can mess up your shots at far distances, but it isn't unmanageable, and things that tighten spread will help that random deviation and things that widen spread will hurt it. Also, we got bullet drop. It's gonna feel like a grenade launcher with that bullet arc past like 80 meters or so, which you can snipe people with this gun at that range, so it's important to keep in mind if you're gonna try and challenge people at that range, which it is fun to do, I'm not gonna lie, so I do do it occasionally. If you want the best class or the most balanced class for sniping, this is probably a really good one. The choke helps the deviation of the slug, or you could always use a suppressor if you want to be more stealthy. The tack laser is gonna help stability in the aim down sight speed and the scope for obvious reasons. The sawed off stock with aim down sight speed and then movement speed at the cost of stability. And then we have slugs, of course. You don't really need a barrel. This is a kind of balanced class in that in the barrel. I mean, it's not really gonna give you that much more range and you don't really need it. So there are other ways to kit it though. And if you want my favorite class for aggressive iron sight style sniping for more medium range or close range and killing, here it is. Even though it hurts the spread, the sawed off barrel gives you insane aim down sight speed and movement speed. So I love to use it for those close to medium range fights. And of course, no stock for movement speed and aim down sight speed. Then we have slugs and sleight of hand. And I do use the five milliwatt laser because I like to be aggressive and occasionally hit fire in dire situations. So why not? It's already got such a fast aim down sight time. You don't really need any other attachment. But if you want to be a bit more precise, use the choke instead. It might help alleviate the slugs deviation. Overall, this gun is a beast, and it is unforgiving, but it's hella satisfying. There's a reason that people hype it up, though, and that's because it kicks ass at sniping, and it's super fun to make it work with that one-tap headshot, and my god, it's a double barrel. I mean, come on, that's just awesome. Now, what about the Vanguard double barrel? Let's take a deep dive into slugs on it and see if maybe, just maybe, it can overthrow the 725. The base double barrel with slugs has a max damage range of 14 meters. Not looking good so far. In that 14 meters with no attachments, the gun will kill with two headshots and four with just body shots. It deals around 80 points of damage and sadly, it is gonna take four shots with a chest shot. That is pretty unacceptable in my opinion for a gun like this with only two. But before I start to rant, let's get on with some more stats. Surely it gets better, right? Thankfully, if you hit one headshot, all it really takes is one body shot after that, so that's one saving grace so far. After that 14 meter mark, you can still kill in two headshots, but the damage does go down so you can no longer kill with one headshot and one body shot. It's gotta be two headshots or one headshot and two body shots, so not really ideal. I have a feeling one of the reasons that base slugs are so weak, it's because we have the damage barrels to kinda help alleviate that problem. 
Speaking of the barrels, the precision barrel, the barrel for extra headshot damage, does indeed give you more headshot damage, and it does hurt your body damage, but it makes no difference in time to kill or shots to kill, really. It still takes the same amount of shots, no matter the range, really. It also does increase your max damage range to about 15 meters, which isn't really that great of a boost. And ultimately, it's not worth using as far as I can tell, because the fact that it reduces body damage and hurts movement overall is just really not good. The Huntsman barrel, which is the biggest barrel for range, just gives you more range, really up to 17 meters now for that max damage range, but it doesn't change damage at all, and again, it's going to weigh you down too much for that measly 2 meters of range you end up getting. So, so far, these two barrels, just really avoid them. There's no reason to use them with slugs on this gun. Now, the other two things do get more interesting. First off, the sawed-off barrel is next on the list, increases our damage by quite a bit, and headshots can deal just almost enough damage to one shot kill to the head, but it still takes two headshots. The saving grace, if you can call it that, is that you only need three body shots to kill. Wow, only three shots with a double barrel. Sign me up, am I right? Yeah, well, you know it's sad when I'm slightly excited that a double barrel doesn't take four shots to kill. Now, while it does say that the barrel does hurt range, it, in fact, gives you more range, and it takes that max damage range up to that 19 meter mark, which is the most we've seen so far, and it's actually pretty good. So, this one is the best barrel so far, but what about the Defender barrel, right? The Defender barrel takes two headshots and four body shots. Yet again, it takes our max damage range up to 16 meters, so the Sawed Off is still kind of the best barrel to go with at this point. One small thing I do want to point out, though, is that we have Vital the Proficiency on this shotgun, which increases the damage we do to the chest area. And while the other barrels don't benefit much at all from its damage increase, it makes the Defender Barrel's chest shot area a three-shot kill, while keeping the stomach at four, though. So it's a little less unforgiving, but still really, really bad. Even though that's nice, I still think having the sawed-off barrel's damage is probably better overall. So I'm going to have to declare that the best barrel to use. You can get one headshot and one body shot and kill pretty far with it, but that massive downside we have to talk about to the barrel is it really hurts your accuracy. While slugs generally have some deviation to where your shot will go, and most guns do, the shorter barrels or things that widen your spread tend to make that worse. So this is no exception. If you use it, you might find yourself really struggling to hit shots that shouldn't be that bad, and likely it's because of this. So I would recommend if you do use it to make sure you use a few attachments to help with the accuracy or the pellet tightness, since they both have that same effect. Also, this barrel does not really have any little iron sight to look at, so you might need to use a slate reflector or something like that. If you want to know what the best class is, or quote unquote best class, here you go. Notice I have no magazine attachment, and that's because 16 gauge hurts damage and the other attachment has literally no effect on slugs. As far as my thoughts on the gun, you saw this coming, I gotta say it's pretty shit. I don't know what they were smoking when they decided that slugs on a double barrel, a gun with only two shots, has no capability to two-shot kill with a body shot. I mean, I get they want to make it for more accurate players, but come on, this is a bit excessive, especially when you only get two shots and a slow reload. So which double barrel slug shotgun is the better of the two? Do you really have to ask? Obviously, the 725 is hands down the better of the two in almost every single conceivable way besides how it looks. The 725, it can snipe people. It has insane headshot damage that'll down players in one shot. And you can still two-tap with a chest shot. And if you hit chest and stomach, you can also two-tap. Ultimately, this is a blast to use, and it's like the combat shotgun with its one-shot headshot capabilities, but this extends to basically an infinite range, essentially. You just have to be mindful of the bullet drop and the travel time for these slugs, since I will say that the Vanguard double barrel does have it beat there, but still, it's such a bad gun. If you want a good double barrel to snipe with, the 725 is still the king. Don't even bother with the Vanguard double barrel with slugs, just don't. They've nerfed the Vanguard shotgun so much that even slugs just seem like an afterthought and can't really do much for viability. Hopefully it's just an oversight, and I do plan on complaining on Twitter to devs to see if some attention can be brought to it just to see if it's at least intentional. I don't know, I just want these things to be at least more usable, but right now it's just awful. They are just in an awful spot, and the slugs are just horrible. They're not as bad as they were when Van when Warzone first came out, but my god are they atrocious. Also, you might notice I didn't cover movement speed and reload time and all that kind of stuff on these guns, and to that I say, why bother when the Vanguard double barrel, even if you could reload in half a second or move twice as fast as the 725, you basically shoot edamame out of your barrel, so it will never be a good choice for slug sniping or just slug use in general. It's such a shame. It's a cool gun. I 
love side-by-side -side double barrels. It reminds me of Doom Guy's shotgun from Doom, of course. But my god, it's atrocious. I pushed off making this video because it's no fun using these setups that are that bad with little to no upside. So, like I said, stick to the 725. There's really no reason to use a Vanguard with slugs, I promise you. And guys, that is going to do it for this video. I know it's a little different. It's sort of the battle of the slug shotguns, right? I just finally wanted to talk about the Vanguard double barrel because I know a lot of people have been asking about it with slugs. And I got to say, it's pretty disappointing. And I got to say, also, don't bother using it. It really is not worth it. So, like I said, 725 is the king here. But let me know down below in the comments, what do you think of this video? What do you think about the Vanguard double barrel with slugs in particular? Have you been using the 725 still? Are you still having a blast with it? And with all that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video.